Hello everyone! Welcome to the latest episode of The Hero featuring Gujin. In this episode, we will be covering one of the most used assassin in the game which is Gujin. So let's take a closer look. In-game special effects. Sword spike. Shadow blade slaughter. Incandescence. Hero skill introduction. First skill, sword spike. Gujin throws a dagger in the target direction, dealing 200 magic damage to the first enemy hit and marking them. Gujin moves behind the marked enemy. Second skill, shadow blade slaughter. Gujin throws five daggers dealing magic damage to opponents. Using it again will recall the daggers back to him. Third skill, incandescence. Gujin teleports to a designated area, while also resetting the cooldown of his skill 1 and skill 2. It allows him to throw a total of 10 daggers at the end. Gujin dashes a short distance in a targeted direction. Passive, Dagger Specialist. After every 3 skill casts, Gujin's the next basic attack deals extra magic damage equal to 15% of the target's lost HP and heals Gujin by 80% of the damage dealt. Skill Combo, Laning Phase. Since Gujin is mostly played as a jungler, start off by buying Ice Retribution. Take both Red and Blue buff, rotate to experience lane and approach enemy by using Shadow Blade Slaughter, then use Incandescence. Mark the opponent by Sword Spike and finally finish off enemy by recalling the daggers back. Teamfight In Teamfight, Gujin can use Sword Spike to approach the enemy and use the skill combo. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 and recall back the dagger to execute the enemy. Hero Compatibility, Best Teammates Gujin best teammates are tanks like Atlas, Tigreal etc. Together they can do great combos and execute enemy easily. Strong against. Gujin is strong against without blink and squishy heroes like Cyclops, Bane, Leslie, etc. Countered by. Gujin can be easily countered by Lolita because of her second skill. Also, other heroes like Nana and Cho. Builds and emblems. So, here is the recommended build as a Gujin jungler. Firstly, we suggest to buy Ice Retribution since it deals true damage and slows enemy down. As for the boots we recommend, Arcane Boots because it got magic penetration. Moving to the core items, Genius Wand is built for magic defense reduction to kill tanky heroes, Glowing Wand for sustained damage, Divine Glaive for magic penetration and Holy Crystal for high magic power. Lastly, Winter Truncheon is built to immune all damage and CC effects for 2 seconds. Mage Emblem with Mystery Shop helps Gujin to build items at low cost and boost his magic damage. In terms of battle spell we recommend Retribution and Flicker, Petrify or Execute if he's playing as mid or side lane. Tactics and Tips From early game, farm well and focus on objectives. You can slay the turtle with the help of Retribution. Slaying a turtle will help gain experience and gold to the ally team. From mid to late game you can mark squishy heroes in opponent and take or steal lord with the help of retrib- For more amazing and easy tutorials, subscribe to MLBB Philippines official and don't forget to tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Also stay tuned for our next amazing hero spotlight, Leslie. Hope you all loved this tutorial as much as we do and until next time, we'll be seeing you, in the land of dawn.